hi welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to present on how to use solve so please subscribe my youtube channel for more such videos and uh, let's start with the slides so solve uh, like i will read the statement it is important to read that statement so like atlas can calculate dc and ac small signal and transient solutions so you can easily calculate this uh, dc ac and small signal here like it uh, obtaining solution is similar to setting up parameter test equipment for device test and you usually define the voltage on each of the electrode in the device. Atlas then calculates the current through each electrode. And Atlas also calculates the internal quantity such as carrier concentration and electric field throughout the device. So what happens is you are applying some uh, voltage across the electrode of the devices. And the Atlas help you to calculate the electric field or carry concentration internally if you want something there or you if you want to calculate that band gap energy and other thing you can calculate uh, solve you can easily calculate the current uh, and also the other quantities like uh, electric field potential carrier concentration and also the other things may be photo absorptions uh, like photo current uh, like tunneling current how tunneling current is working so you can calculate all these things charges also you can calculate so like solve uh, like help you to calculate these things which is impossible without that okay so next slide like solve so how to use the solve so like you can easily see that solve v gate equal to one and solve v gate equal to two so what it means that means that uh, you are applying one volt at the gate and uh, one two volt at the gate okay so like if you applying these two statement in a silvaco ticket silvaco ticket will understand like uh, that uh, like if you apply first solve we get equal to 1.0 and second as a solve we get 2.0 so silvaco ticket will assume it to be the last one so solve uh, the 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 gate voltage is applied across the uh, gate is the voltage ac applied across the gate is 2 volt now so silvaco always understand the last statement uh, of like if particular particular voltage like if v gate is like two statement is given there in one of the other so that means it will take the last one like here it will take the two volt okay and now comes to a different one so see uh, now here you can see that i have applied the v gate as a two volt and similar drain as a one volt so here what happens is it will assume the source as a zero so if you have not applied anything like on the source so you can uh, like leave it there you don't need to mention that solve v source equal to zero you can ignore that if even if uh, like v range is also zero so you do no need to write that just uh, leave it like a uh, solve we get equal to 2.0 no need to write the solve we drain if it is some voltage then you have to write so like as i already written in the slide you don't need to explicitly state the voltage on all electrodes on all cells solve statement if v substrate is not specified then vvs of default to zero so it will defaultly take that as a zero if if you have not specified that like if you are calculating the id vgs or you are calculating the uh, like ID uh, like JSC versus uh, JV cut stick or IV cut stick in solar cell. So for that uh, you need to apply the sweeping the DC bias or DC thing. So for that how you can do is you can apply some particular uh, voltage or some particular light source like B1 equal to 1 or something. And then you apply the DC uh, like DC biasing the DC sweeping bias. So like how can you can apply is like if you are applying for anode you can just write solve V anode equal to 0 V step equal to 0 0.05 V final equal to 1 and name as an anode. So whatever the like whatever the voltage where you apply you have to add the name there. Okay, so like if you are calculating ID VGS, you can apply like if you are calculating the ID VGS at VDS equal to 2 volt. So you have to apply it like write that so solve V drain equal to 2 and solve V gate equal to 0, V step equal to 0 0.05, V final equal to 1.0 and name equal to gate. So it will uh, like, uh, like do the calculation for the sweeping device. Now the like some method also and uh, like uh, how it is important here, right? Like in the Newton reference, uh, like the initial gauge is most important there. 
an auto nr also like if you uh, doing some you know that even if you uh, like if there is equations and if you try to do the newton epsilon solutions there so what happens is if the like gas point is very uh, like uh, distance from the initial solution so there is a chance that the solution will diverge there so to avoid that you have to gaze some uh, like reasonable points reasonable uh, gaze you have to do like if you are calculating for solve v drain as 2.0 so you have to know that is it a valid point or not is valid a uh, voltage or not so you have to take care of these things and one more thing if reasonable grid is used like a reasonable grid means uh, that you if your massing is correct then there is chances that the convergence issue is caused by the poor initial gaze to the solutions so you have to take care of these things okay now comes to other things and uh, here you can see that there i have mentioned some uh, newton epsilon and gummel and auto nr basically this is uh, happens in um, all in most of the case in newton epsilon uh, like generally not happen in gummel but uh, for all of them you have to take care of these things so there's a two way actually uh, like you can see that way one solve we get 1.0 v drain 1 equal to 1.0 v substrate equal to minus 1.0 and similarly below we have apply first solve we get as 1.0 then we apply solve v substrate as a minus 1.0 then we apply the solve v drain as a 1.0 so what is its difference like can you uh, like uh, think like what its difference between these one and this one so i will tell you that here the solve will apply directly to v gate as a 1.0 v drain as a 1.0 and v substrate as a minus 1.0 so it will like apply all at the same time and here what happens is you can uh, like say that here the solve v gate as a 1.0 and like for the first statement solve v gate is equal to 1.0 and for that point only the v substrate is a uh, zero and for the same point is v drain as a zero similarly for here like it will assume solve v substrate as a minus 1.0 and v gate as a 1 and v drain as a 0 and in this point it will assume that solve v drain as a 1.0 and v gate as 1 and v substrate as a minus 1 comma 0 so it will go some baby steps but here it uh, like directly you have, have applied the all the threes so what happens is here the convergence issue you will face but here you will not that face this issue because here it will go with the baby steps and so that's why it it will be more better to use this one as compared to that because it will show some convergence issue in here i will explain you this in more better way like here it assume that v sub substrate voltage as a zero substrate voltage as a zero as zero and uh, the drain voltage as a zero drain voltage as a zero but here what happens is we have already applied the v gate so it will take that value so now the v substrate is minus 1 comma 0 uh, minus 1 comma 0 means minus 1 volt and similarly gate is 1 volt and the drain is 0 so yeah this is like that and similarly here it will assume v drain as a 1 volt so the v substrate is already applied minus 1 volt so it will assume as a substrate as a minus 1 volt minus 1 volt and gate as a 1 volt so in this one uh, here you can see that here all of them is directly applied here uh, here so here there is a chances as I already explained you that there is a convergence issue you face here you will not face that okay coming to other uh, slides solve in it so like uh, like even if you not apply the solve unit in your statement it will automatically calculate that because it will why it will calculate that because it need to be calculate the first uh, like carrier concentration and the potential at their that point for that doping profile so it will automatically evaluate that okay so to uh, like here there is a like it will use poison equations to solve this uh, solve unit one because uh, like it will do it very faster because it will assume everything as a zero except it will calculate uh, as a, only the carrier concentration and uh, like potential only with the help of poison equations so so one more like one more solve convergence issues uh, constant is given here so i will explain you this one also so as uh, you these two are mentioned there so you know that like 
if you apply with the help of solve linear and solve bit drain as 0.1 volt and 0.2 volt and then 2 volt and here you apply solve in it and then solve bit drain as a 2 volt directly so what it there is a difference like what happens is like if you do iteration with uh, uh, like baby steps if you do iteration with the baby steps so what happens is uh, like first it will solve for this one 0.1 volt and that solution it will store there and with the help of that solution it will calculate for 0.2 similarly then it will calculate for with the with that solution 0.2 volt solution it will calculate for 2 volt so here it have some memory of iterations so that it will easily converse here but here it directly apply the 2 volt so that will cause a conversion issue so always try to apply some like a baby steps way like first you apply the zero like if if you have to do uh, in your one in your simulation like 2 volt so do like this solve v drain equal to 0 0.1 okay similarly you do for the uh, v drain 0 0.2 similarly you can do for similar 0 point uh, like 5 or then you can do for 1 similarly you can do for 2.0 so it will more better because it will uh, do convergence easily and it will easily go through that all like all of the conversion issues because it goes through some baby steps so i always recommend you to do like this uh, not like this because it will show you more convergence issue there okay next now I'm going to again back to slide so now AC solutions, right? Like most of the time, you have to do AC simulations because of uh, like for some particular frequency, you have to get the ID VGS something. So you can do like this. You just write uh, like solve AC frequency as one point uh, like one E six. It means one megahertz and uh, the V gate and V step and V final value and name equal to gate. So this will help you to calculate the uh, like. It will help you to calculate the AC solutions. So what happens here is uh, the the like if you have to calculate the capacitance in your simulations uh, with the gate voltage or something, so you can use these things to calculate the capacitance in your uh, simulations. So you can easily calculate with the help of AC simulations, AC simulations or AC solutions. Okay, so you can see the syntax, and if you find any difficulty, you can message me in my comment box. Transient solutions. Solve Vgate equal to 1.0 means you are applying a Vgate of 1 volt. You can see here. And similarly, you are applying the ramp time as a 1e minus 9 means that it will ramp up to 1 volt at 1e minus 9 means 1 millisecond, 1 nanosecond. And it will stop uh, the simulation at uh, like 10 nanosecond. And there's a step like it will go with the baby steps with the uh, like oh, you can say it is in uh, 10 picosecond so you can see that it will do 10 picosecond 10 picosecond 10 picosecond 10 picosecond 10 picosecond 10, 10 picosecond to calculate the uh, transient solutions so now the log file okay uh, so like log file store the terminal characteristic calculated by atlas these are current and voltage for each electrode in these simulations so it will store the uh, current and voltage for electrode in these two simulations so or in ac simulation also it will uh, store like capacitance value also it will store and other values also store so it depends on which uh, which simulation you are doing okay and in like as i mentioned below it will store the uh, time in transient simulations and in ac simulation it will store the frequency also conductance and capacitance as i already tell you so this is uh, all about the log file and you can easily use the log file to uh, do the uh, like uh, plot that in Oregon and uh, somewhere else like in MATLAB also you can plot that things and for uh, to generate the log file you have to do log out of equal to abc.log and then you can do the DC sweep there and AC sweep there below that means a sweep like we uh, solve we get something uh, like we step and we final value below that and then you just Tony plot that and you can see that value also so there's some way and current in log file it is one of the most important uh, like point in slide so that's why i have added here so in tony plot it is in ampere per micron you always see that so that is because it is a two dimensional simulator so it set the third dimension to be one micron okay uh, like jet direction to be one micron so it will uh, like uh, you can say it is 
something calculating the current only in ampere per micron okay so what happens so what happens is like as i as it is already mentioned that it will assume that the direction as a one micron so what happens is whenever you are calculating the so what happens is whenever you adding the mass width there so it will multiply it with the uh, the current what is calculated from log file so like if current is uh, 1e minus 9 so it will multiply it with the mass width because uh, if you increase the mass width so it will uh, something like it will increase in z direction something so if it is 1e minus 9 so it will multiply at that time or it, if it is 1e 9 so it will multiply that times that factor times okay in 3d modules of atlas the width is defined in the 3d structure therefore the units of the current are ampere so as you already know that in the 3d modules you are uh, like giving the z there so like in that case you will always get the current as an ampere so in 3d you will get the ampere as a current but in 2d you will always get the ampere per micron because of the it assuming the uh, like z direction to be one micron okay and now coming to the last slide here thank you for watching my video and i will more explain these things using simulation in further videos okay so stay tuned with my videos thank you